This tutorial is all about paints which contain two special kinds of pigments, thermochromic and phosphorescent ones. This gentleman here seems rather put out that his beer is too warm. Is there a solution to this problem? Well, yes. This beer can has got a special thermochromic paint which, when the can is cold enough to be drunk, turns from a white to a blue colour. You need to be able to give examples of thermochromic pigments and how they're suited towards particular uses and also how the range of colours can be increased by using acrylic paints. Another issue is making sure that the bath water isn't too hot for baby. You can buy little thermometers or guides for the bath like this one and they contain thermochromic pigments which turn particular colours at particular temperatures. It's also important to make sure that baby's milk isn't too hot. This baby's bottle has two designs drawn in different thermochromic paints which show at particular temperatures. So if the milk is the right temperature at 38 degrees then the green smiley face comes up, but if it's too hot at 45, the red frowny face comes up. It's very difficult to take the temperature of a poorly cranky child. For this reason, they sell thermochromic thermometers, which when put on the forehead indicate the temperature of the child all is well. Another problem here is illustrated by this kettle. For people with learning difficulties, it's very difficult for them to know whether the kettle is hot or cold and they could scold themselves. A solution is this kettle which uses thermochromic pigment to show whether the kettle is hot or cold. Thermochromic pigments are special pigments that change colour when they get hotter or colder. You might have seen mood rings, for example, at Christmas in the cracker. And these are supposed to show what kind of mood you're in, but really just sense the temperature of your skin underneath the ring and change to a different colour depending upon the temperature. They contain thermochromic pigments. These cups, usually used for advertising or novelty value, again use thermochromic pigments which change colour when a hot drink is put into them. Although there are already a variety of different thermochromic pigments which normally change from a coloured pigment to colourless or white when they get hot, you can increase the number of available colours by mixing the pigment with a coloured acrylic paint. For example, if a pigment goes from blue to white when hot, what if it was mixed with a yellow acrylic paint? This one would now be green when it's cold and would change to a yellow when it's hot. Phosphorescent pigments are special pigments that absorb energy in the daytime, store it within the pigment and release it at night or when it's dark. The safety signs here contain a phosphorescent pigment. That means that if they're in an illuminated corridor and the lights go out due to, for example, a fire affecting the electricity supply, they will temporarily glow and in addition to the emergency illuminated signs, will help you get out of the building. Phosphorescent pigments are used in all sorts of things. For example here, and I'm sure many of you will remember when you were younger, you had these illuminated stars and planets on your bedroom ceiling to help settle you at night. This illuminated frisbee. Phosphorescent pigments are used for all sorts of uses. On the left we have these planets and stars, which I'm sure as a child you may have had on your bedroom ceiling to settle you at night. In the middle we have a frisbee, which has phosphorescent pigment in it, which means it can be used at dusk or at night, and also the dog ball here on the right, which has a phosphorescent pigment and allows you to throw it to your dog in the evening at dusk. Modern phosphorescent pigments are far safer than the earlier alternatives. 
This World War I trench watch was made using a radioactive isotope called radium. Although this meant that the watch would glow all through the night, it could of course cause skin cancer. Modern watches such as this one can't glow all the way through the night because the phosphorescent pigments don't absorb that much energy. However, they are much safer because they don't use radioactive isotopes.